Exciting news, we're uh, opening hotels in Medina, in Mecca. Saudi Arabia is still a very important market for us. Uh, we're looking at more opportunities, of course, here in the Middle East in general, but our big growth is really in West Africa, where we see developments coming up in Brazzaville, in Lagos, in Rabat, and destinations. We really want to be in these particular markets. Well, the performance in general, we're quite satisfied with it. Of course, we have two distinct regions. One is the Middle East, one is Africa. Africa region is doing very well, including the Egypt. Uh, West Africa, Seychelles, uh, Nairobi, very good performance, year-on-year -year growth. Middle East is a different story, of course. In the Gulf, we're seeing really a stagnant revenue performance. I have to say that uh, destinations like Beirut, Dead Sea, Aqaba are doing very well, are outperforming our expectations. But the big challenge still remains in the GCC countries. Saudi is still an area for development. There's huge opportunities there. We're very pleased to see that the, that the government is investing substantially in tourism infrastructure. Another area for growth for us is West Africa with lots of opportunities in development and leads. So these are the two regions we're still focusing on very much on. I think the biggest challenge, we're operating in the Middle East and Africa 22 hotels with around 5,500 rooms. Um, for me, a big focus is flow through. How do we operate top luxury hotels in a more efficient manner? Can we share certain services? Can we cluster certain services? And I think it's important also for owners and investors to see that we as a company are thinking with our partners very clearly on the return of investment of these business models. I'm very proud that I've been invited to become the chairman of Be Health. Be Health is our corporate social responsibility program. All our guests around the world in all our 80 hotels and residences are donating money to Be Health. This, this money is then given to developing countries for people in need such as Djibouti, such as Kenya, such as Thailand and, and other issues, other charity issues around the world. And I'm very happy to drive this program. Uh, and I'm looking forward to organize more events also here in the Middle East and Africa to raise money and raise awareness for these causes. No, not, not much changed compared to 12 months ago. We, we still that uh, regional markets remain very important. If I take, for instance, the traffic from Abu Dhabi into Dubai for weekends, substantial market for us. If you look more international, yes, India and China are becoming you know, important feeder markets. If I look at the number of weddings we're hosting in our hotels in the region, of, of VIP weddings, it's really remarkable what the growth is. But I also would like to talk about Africa a little bit. If I look at this, uh, feeder markets like Nigeria, South Africa, substantial growth towards the Gulf in terms of demand. Yeah, very important theme for next year and this year also sustainability. It's not only replacing plastic straws by paper straws, but it's the whole thinking, the whole process of waste management, of computerizing our waste of looking at the bathroom amenities, of recycling certain programs and making both our employees, our suppliers and our guests more aware of what the role of sustainability plays in operating these luxury hotels and residences. Yeah, if I look at the big global trends in terms of population, uh, people want to travel, people want to explore new destinations, I am very positive. Now we need to be aware that there are cycles, like in every economic process, we need to work through these cycles with our owners, with our partners, with our suppliers, with our colleagues, with our employees. And I'm very positive that when we sit here again in five years' time, we're looking at a very successful story, not only for Kempinski, but the industry as a whole here in the Middle East and Africa. Well, we had experience with this. I mean, we were present during the Expo in Shanghai in 2010. We saw a very similar development also with a slight imbalance between demand and supply, where there's an overcapacity in all segments of the market, five-star, four-star, three-star, and the luxury segment. It needs time to absorb that. It needs smarter marketing campaigns, look at our overall expenses, and maintain the brand standards, because the brand standard is the promise to our guests of a true luxury European hospitality experience.